As Christians, we don't make New Year's resolutions. Resolutions are something that we do in the natural. We are spirit beings in a natural physical body. So let's rely on the Holy Spirit to orchestrate and give us the instructions for our new year. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. Friends, we all have a destiny. We all have a calling. We all have something to accomplish for the kingdom of God. And I know for some of you, it burns deep within your soul, within your heart. You're like, God, why aren't you busting open my destiny? Why aren't you making my ministry move? Why aren't you launching this business idea? I know that passion. You're like, God, I have all these prophetic words on my life. I have all these hopes and dreams. Why aren't they happening? Well, the Lord told me years ago, he said, Kathy, if I showed you the whole picture, you'd take the ball and run with it. What's that mean? We'd orchestrate our own plan. We'd say, oh, I got to have control and let's do this. We do what makes sense in the natural. But like I said, we're spirit beings and natural bodies. So we need to rely on the Holy Spirit. If you haven't heard me by now, you know, my whole theme is prophetic spiritual warfare. It's partnering with the Holy Spirit to manifest your destiny. It's the name of my book, my TV show, my podcast. It's all about Holy Spirit orchestrate my steps. As I'm recording this, we're a few days before the new year. And I love to give people this insight as you launch into the new year. Take a step back and ask Holy Spirit about all your commitments, where you're currently tithing, where you're offering, what Bible studies you're leading, what church you're attending, where you're volunteering, what your ministry is doing. Make a list of all that and subject it to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, what do you want me doing in this new year, 2024? What do you want me to do? Is there a church that you want me to financially partner with to help? Is there a ministry that you want me to volunteer for? What about my current Bible study? I've left, I've led it for three years now. Is it someone else's turn to lead it? Well, no one else would step up. Well, you know, friends, sometimes no one else will step up because you're in that position. Sometimes we have to step aside before the next person will step up. And that's what we need to ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what is your agenda? What is your plan? You know, I've been in ministry for about 15 years, and I can tell you every year the Holy Spirit changes the direction. There's been years that I've been on prophetic tours, going in a car saying left, right, what hotel, what restaurant, street evangelism. There was five years I was running a ministry for people who couldn't afford food and clothes and the low income, providing Christmas presents to children. There's times I've done teaching and training schools. There was a year I did nothing but e-courses and virtual events. You know, it changes every year. There's been times I've traveled so much, you know, and every year is different. And I know, you know, God is already birthing in me what he wants 20 to 24 be about. So one of the things that I know is he's saying, Kathy, I want you to bring physical healing to the forefront of your ministry. For those of you that don't know, I've been healed 16 times without medical treatment. And I'm passionate to see the body of Christ healed. And so I know he's telling me, bring forth that healing platform. And so that is one of my missions. Now, another one is I'm launching a new mentorship. It's an intense, intense discipleship program for people who want to be in business, create a product, have spiritual growth, or be a ministry leader. And it's called Kingdom Development. If that just caught your attention, go over to training.kathydegraministries.org. It's going to be for men and women. I'm not going to spend time telling you about it now, but go and check it out. And so I know that's where I'm to be, creating people's destinies, launching their business and ministry, helping them launch a product for residual income and bringing a healing platform. Now, I'm sure there's probably going to be a couple more things that the Lord has me focusing on, but it's the end of 
you know, the year I'm not all prayed up into what 2024 is going to be yet, but I'm going to have those marching orders. And why is that important? So when someone tries to say, Hey, get involved with this, you can say, no, the Holy spirit wants me to do this. When the devil comes in to try and distract you, you can say, no, the Holy spirit told me to do this. You know, when you're feeling it, a fleshly unction for something, you can go back and say, no, God's called me to give my money here, my volunteer time here. It keeps you focused and directed for the year. I always tell the people who are attending my, you know, meetings on a weekly basis, I say, write a prophetic word, get what the Holy Spirit wants. I know a lot of you do pray for like one word. A lot of you pray for a scripture. I didn't even pray for a scripture last year. And the Lord said, I'll give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. And I don't feel like that's fully manifested yet. And so I'm going to ask him for that for another year, but also what do you want? But even just a word, you know, maybe it's change. Or I heard someone say today who I was talking to on the phone, they said, my word is persevere. And I said, do you remember the, you know, definition of persevere? And she had to think about it. And then she's like, yeah, because I teach about that all the time. Perseverance is continuing forward despite opposition. And so I want you to sit down, look at your commitments, ask the Holy Spirit for direction for 2024, ask him what he wants you doing and be obedient, write the vision. Okay. It talks about that in Habakkuk 2, 2, write the vision. Okay. Though it tarries, wait for it. Surely it'll come to pass. But if you know the vision, you can be goal oriented. You could persevere. You can be focused, driven. You could be time sensitive to that. Those are some of the things I'm going to be helping people with in the new kingdom development, intensive discipleship and mentoring program of even just how do we, you know, accomplish our task? How do we not waste time? How do we, you know, remove social media addictions? How do we get spiritual growth? How do we get the revelation from God and get into that seer realm? And that's what I want you to do. Spend a few days in prayer, guys. Ask the Holy Spirit. You got a few days left before the beginning of the year. If you're watching or listening to this after the beginning of the year, it's not too late to get on track with the Holy Spirit. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.